would give up all my life for just one kiss. I would surely die if you dismiss me from your love. You take my breath away. Oh, that song, it tinkles down the spine, isn't it? Our next guest was selected by Brian May and Roger Taylor to voice Freddie Mercury for their tribute to a Queen extravaganza back in 2012. His audition has now received over 14 million YouTube views and resulted in a performance on Ellen. He has toured extensively and has performed for Celine Dion. He is also, he was handpicked as the voice of Freddie in the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. It is the incredible Mark Mattel. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so Gosh, excited to be here. It is so nice to have you here. That little video then, honestly, it was like tingles oh, down yeah. the spine. That song was beautiful. Um, the desired reaction. Good. Well, it's worked. Well done. <laughs> uh, you were a singer, though, of your own right, long before the mm -hmm. world discovered that you sounded, oh, just a tiny little bit like Freddie Mercury. Mm -hmm. so, so how did, what was life like before Freddie? I was in a band just like many musicians do, you know, the 15 passenger van pulling a trailer thing and sometimes sleeping in it overnight. Uh, yeah, we slugged it out uh, for fi almost 15 years until this Queen thing started. So. With that, is the voice nature or nurture? Like, was there some moment where someone said, hey, you sound like Freddie, or is there a certain level of characterization? It's a little bit of both. I learned to sing from imitating or mimicking. I just had a natural ear for mimicking. Um, apparently that's a, a Quebec thing, Celine told me one day. Uh, oh, name drop. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There it is. Yeah. I did that on purpose. It's right there for you. <laughs> but no, I, I, I grew up with the, the, the propensity to, to try to imitate what I heard. And like my first uh, big one was George Michael and um, so on and so forth through the 90s. Um, and then uh, as my voice began to mature, I started to get a lot of regular comparisons to Freddie Mercury even before I knew anything more than their probably their three biggest hits like everyone else knows. Like, that's that's quite an extraordinary yeah. likeness to have though, that's for sure. Yeah. So did you actually try at the beginning when people saying, hey, you sound like Freddie Mercury, to not sound like Freddie Mercury? I've tried not to sound like him. Uh, in my old band, it, it became a joke after a while. I would tell them bef right before we go on stage, I'm like, hey guys, tonight I'm gonna try to sound like Mark Martell, whatever that sounds like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and so, and I think I even got more comparisons to Freddie that night. It was, <laughs> it's, it's something that I'm never gonna, I've accepted I'm never gonna be able to escape and I've embraced it. And if you're gonna be compared to someone, it may as well be someone who's considered the greatest in their field. Mm. Know, so. so the audition for the, the Queen tribute, and then of course you're asked to perform on Ellen. Did this all just happen kind of quickly or? It did, yeah. Um, I uploaded my initial audition video for uh, the Queen Extravaganza band in uh, September, I believe, of 2011. And by early October, we'd been contacted by Ellen, Ellen's people. And uh, I don't know if you've ever had a video go viral before, but it's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> like, I bet. And uh, my, my wife tells me that she lost her husband there for a few weeks because I was just constantly on YouTube. What are they saying? What are they saving? saying? It's, it was mostly good, so thankfully. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't yeah. it? You've got all these people all of a sudden knowing your voice, it's, and you've got such a great one to compare it to. Yeah. Were you initially a little bit reluctant to put yes. the audition in? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, like I said, I had my own band, and you know, we were full-time. We were making it work. Uh, you know, moderately successful, like we even had some radio play and stuff in the United States and Canada. And um, I had a feeling that, that starting something with Queen would disrupt that, and I didn't know how much it would disrupt, disrupt it. Um, so I did hesitate, you know, I, I remember vividly sitting on our couch that day that I uploaded the video, sitting next to my wife with my laptop, and uh, I was like, I, I can't do this. Like, it not only would potentially disrupt my life, but the the life of three mm. of my best friends, you know. Um, and then she turned to me and said, Mark, you were born for this. And uh, she, you know, thought it was a Clicked enter and there you go. How has yeah. life changed? It must be phenomenal. Well, it's still music. Yeah. Uh, it's still a lot of music. It's, it's playing music that people actually recognize and know. It's really a, a rush to go on stage and, and play songs that everyone knows just as well as you do. Mm. Uh, before that, when you're in your own band doing your own music, you know, you're you obviously have your, your, your core fans, but there's also a huge part of the audience that you're trying to sell your music to because they've never heard it before. But with Queen, it's just like this music that's been in the zeitgeist for 40, 40 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and uh, every, every night when you end with, we are the champions and we will rock you and it's a standing ovation and everybody feels great and goes home. It's well, that's time. the thing, the songs, so many feel good songs with yeah. Queen. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that performance on Ellen. What was that like? 
Uh, it was really cool. She was super sweet, just as you would imagine her when I got to meet her backstage. Um, but it was it was a lot like this. It was a TV studio, you know, and uh, just did my thing. And he, I think she asked me two questions, and it was all very much a blur. And I have to even go back and watch it to remember how that all went down. What about touring with Roger Taylor from the original Queen band? Well, uh, Roger was heavily involved, is heavily involved with uh, the original Queen band I was a part of called the Queen Extravaganza. He was never in the band. It is actually a, a full a tribute band. Right. Um, but he is at the helm. It's his kind of his brainchild and he's very interested. He's very hands-on. He wants to make sure it's the best tribute around. Um, and uh, so he uh, he's very involved. He's a great guy. Wow. Now you also are going to be, um, you're, you're involved with the film Bohemian Rhapsody. Rami mm. Malek is the actor who's playing mm -hmm. Freddie Mercury, but you are doing some of the songs. How did all that come about? Yeah, well they, they asked me, uh, you know, when, when the movie started taking form. They asked me if I'd be a part of it and um, all I can say is that I can confirm what is in the Rolling Stones. I don't know if you're aware, but Rolling Stone sort of let the cat out of the bag uh, that uh, the voice of Freddie will be a mixture of uh, Freddie Mercury, Rami Malek, the actor, and me. And that's about all I can say. Wow, I yeah. love secrets. Oh, so do I. <laughs> we'll get more out of it off, uh, off here. You, you mentioned <laughs> earlier you had a, a knack for imitating, uh, you know, quite early on, and it was yeah. George Michael in the 90s, who mm -hmm. some of us would have tried to do and failed. You obviously did okay. Is there anyone else? Any, any other secrets you can lead us in on? Or? Well, I, I learned how to sing falsetto from listening to the new kids on the block. Ah. So uh, Jordan Knight was one of my heroes growing up, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Uh, great singer. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Buckley's another one of my yeah. influences, a little uh, lesser known, but one of the best singers in my opinion. Uh, Richard Marks in the 80s. Um, so you could give us a little right here waiting so I could just do yeah. the reach and pull, because I'm, you know, I'm a bit of I'm a fan. You're a yeah. fan too. Yeah, Good. Okay. He's a great songwriter. Yeah. <laughs> so you're here with your show, uh, The Ultimate Queen yes. Celebration. Tell us a little bit about that. The Ultimate Queen Celebration has been going for about two years now, and it's um, it's the Ultimate Queen Celebration starring Mark Martell, and I'm I'm always there with the Ultimate Queen Celebration. It's a greatest hits show, and it's a lot of energy. And the thing that I love about this band is that. Um, I'm able to take a little bit more um, liberties with the set list. And we even throw in a song or two that Queen didn't necessarily record, but we make sound as if they had recorded. Uh -huh. so, uh, so in terms of that set list, you, you mentioned it's a greatest hit. So just reel us through some of those ones that are really just going to make us sit up and pay attention. Uh, you know, Queen was one of those bands, one of the only bands that could fill two hours of music with all greatest hits. Yeah. So you, obviously you've got Bohemian Rhapsody, Under Pressure, um, Fat Bottom Girls, Tie Your Mother Down, the two I mentioned previously, uh, Wanna Break Free. It, it, the if, list if goes on. If it's a greatest on. hit, you can you yeah. bet it's in the show. <laughs> oh, so, so yeah. many good songs. So do you sing Don't, Don't Stop Me Now? I do. That's my oh. favorite. That is actually my favorite as well. Is it? I was going to ask you that. Depending on the day, but yeah. That's one of my yeah. all-time favorite. If you need a song that's going to get you up and motivated. It does. That is the one. Yeah. Oh, good to know. Well, that was my question. What's your favorite song? <laughs> Answered. Yeah. On some days, it's under pressure. On some days, it's love of my life. But uh, Don't Stop Me Now is always at the top. Fantastic. Yeah, Had an absolute pleasure chatting with you. And really looking forward to a performance from you later on. So thank you so much for that. Mark Martel performs the ultimate Queen celebration at Auckland's Aotea Centre tomorrow night and then at the Isaac Theatre Royal in Christchurch on Sunday. You can check out Ticketmaster and Ticketek for details. And I tell you what, you don't want to miss this performance. It's called You Take My Breath Away. We've heard the rehearsal. It is so good. Coming up right after we check in with Holly.